All right, here we go with DuckTales. It's episode seven. It's called Luck o' the Ducks, and we're all in luck with this one. Uh, let's see. It starts with Webby. She comes in and asks Scrooge to go to some tea party. So he makes a bunch of insanely uh, terrifying and scary faces to her. And then he catches a case of the old money eyes. Uh, he explains he's got to stay because he's got to open this this crate full of his Irish linens. Uh, a, little, a little creature pops up and they say it must be an animal. Uh, can you guess what it is instead of an animal? Uh, you're right if you guessed leprechaun. Uh, so that's what it is. There's a leprechaun in the crate. Came over, here he is. Uh, the leprechaun jumps in the money bin, goes for a swim. Scrooge jumps in in his coat, comes out in his one piece that he swims in. He's a quick change artist. I don't know if that was a mistake or intentional, but it's probably the least crazy thing about this episode. Uh, Webby catches the leprechaun. He's terrified because he, cause there's a, he's a humanoid and there's a duck who can talk. Uh, he pulls a Marty McFly, jumps on the back of this bus and starts huffing exhaust. Uh, Scrooge catches him on a construction lot and saves his life. Concrete. Leprechaun reveals he's got beans for feet. Uh, so Scrooge starts to choke him. Then uh, he gets a sunburn. The boys can't believe it. Uh, <sighs> Leprechaun starts eating cookies at this tea party. Uh, Scrooge gets a case of the money eyes again. The old Leprechaun explains that Leprechauns have huge fortunes, so they should go back to Ireland being Irish myself, uh, I'm glad to see a little bit of Irish culture in this episode. So Scrooge makes another scary face. And so they fly in a, a non-offensive, non-stereotype, uh, stereotypical jet that's green with a four-leaf clover on the side. I guess it's three-leaf there. Uh, not only does Launchpad dress up like as a leprechaun to fit in Ireland, but he uh, gets drunk because he says that's how they all are. Scrooge is drunk too, and uh, they fly to Ireland, and you can tell it's Ireland because there's a huge rainbow that ends somewhere, and he says he lives at the end of the rainbow. Then the leprechaun gets a sunburn. Uh, Scrooge decides he's the new king, so he lets a gladiator live. Uh, Launchpad makes a joke about a golden retriever. Uh, I get mad and leave the room for five minutes, come back. Uh, the boys become arrogant princes, and uh, then a king. A uh, human king comes in with a sword. He rolls the leprechauns. So they all gang up on Scrooge, tie him up. Little guy said he wants him dead. Uh, he's got a bean for a body. I don't understand these shapes of these bodies. He wants him dead, so they take a, a cue from the Gulliver's Travels poster because people love that, and they tie him up. Little people with tied up people are going to throw him in a snake pit. Here's the snakes, the three lead snakes. Named are Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Uh, Launchpad, they get untied so Launchpad says he's going to think of a traditional Irish jig, defends everybody so Scrooge and the king start floating uh, and then the, they all go to bed Webby with her hair rollers even though she doesn't have hair Scrooge is wearing a dollar sign uh, Moo Moo, must be confusing when people, th they probably think he's a sack of money Launchpad uh, is functionally retarded, he wears a, like long johns and he gargles some poison or right, then he, he falls over because of the poison. You can see he's got a little butt flap, butt hatch with his tail hanging out. Uh, Webby's doll is terrified of the episode because she can't believe what's happening. So they go to bed, and if you can guess what happens next, you're a genius because I didn't expect uh, it to be a, head, a decapitated dog uh, driving the Haunted Mansion carriage from the front of the Haunted Mansion. Uh, so he wags his head around, scaring everybody. Uh, Scrooge and the boys don't hear it because they're listening to uh, their headphones while they sleep. They look dead. They look like a cult. Launchpad goes catatonic because of the ghost, and he doesn't ever recover. Just for the, the last episodes, he's just in this constant state of shock, like Henry Bowers from It. Uh, so the boys stand guard, and wouldn't you know it, they fall asleep. What shows up but a banshee? She yells at him. They stop her, so she goes to complain. She makes a little raspberry with her tongue, gives a thumbs down, a gladiator dies, catches the headless ghost on his coffee break. They ride these... I God damn it. Now they're riding these miniature horses. Uh, the, the 
leprechaun shakes a branch and this tree pops up. They almost get crushed by a giant potato because they're in Ireland. Uh, so they fall to their deaths. And then Scrooge puts on these earrings and a necklace. And he's he's ashamed he got caught by you looking at him. So he climbs up. This this bush surrenders because it knows how stupid the episode is. So it gives up. I've never seen a cartoon character quit. Uh, Webby finds his four leaf clover. So then this leprechaun starts crying because he can't believe he's he's doing this. And I completely relate and do the same thing. Uh, so he sees Webby as a deity. Scrooge catches will kiss the old money eyes. Throws Webby off a cliff uh, because she saved his life but didn't let him get the gold. So it ends with them all doing a jig. Here they're happy. And uh, the leprechauns who tried to murder them wave them goodbye. And there's like a gorgeous sunset in the background. Uh, you'll notice I blew through this episode because as, as little sense as the show makes, this episode made the least amount of sense. Uh I couldn't even tell you why the leprechaun was there or what happened. And I saw it. I I had to start this episode over. So I'm really upset about that. Uh, okay. Well, have a good night.